Welcome, my name is Sanyin and what you just saw were previews of Scratch Games and Simulations, the Scratch Masterclass. So in this video, I am going to introduce myself a bit, tell you a little bit about Scratch and this course and how and why it was put together. So first of all, a bit about me. I am originally a robotics engineer. I have worked five years in product development and I've been in teaching, well, since 2012 actually. And me and Scratch, we go back to 2013. I initially started teaching it to kids in year 10, then to primary kids, then in special programs for gifted kids, and finally to teachers. Teachers actually use Scratch for um, curriculum enrichment, like presentations, quizzes, for math simulations, and of course to teach coding to kids all across from primary through to the end of secondary school. So Scratch, it was actually uh, an adaptation of Google Blockly. A Google Blockly sort of took the tedious bits out of programming, like debugging and precise syntax, and Scratch adapted that and sort of tried to make it so easy that primary school kids could use it. But the program evolved more and more, and um, right now it's being taught at first year computer science units. So it's really, really good to wrap your head around the core programming concepts. Now, nobody's gonna hire you to do Scratch, but if you've never done any programming, I say there is absolutely no better way to get started. So, a bit about the course. Um, the first module is called Challenges in Core Concepts. Here, uh, you learn the fundamentals and you test yourself in relatively simple tasks that can be solved in hundreds of different ways. After that, you create um, some simple applications. So we have a, a game where you guess a number out of 10 and it keeps statistics. We have a game that measures your reflexes. We have a game where there's a dynamic where, you know, two characters chase each other around. And essentially what your job is to, to do some debugging and to make the game more playable and make it better. Here is where the fun stuff is at. So this is where you saw the projectile motion game. Uh, this is where you saw a simulation of outer space. This is where we also tackle a concept called cloning in Scratch, which is very similar to classes in object-oriented programming. And finally, um, module four is called complex problems because you know we, we start you on a way to building a larger project. Probably the most difficult thing in programming is managing complexity and you will get a taste of that in Scratch. In addition to the four modules, there are a dozen teacher advice videos where me and a, f a colleague of mine called Richard Marx go sort of through the ins and outs and the learning steps of, of each tutorial. And there are assessments. Um, and these are essentially some harder coding problems that you want to throw yourself at.